Hi everyone, collab is the most powerful way of practicing deep learning, and here I summarize very essential but most powerful tips for you. In this short video, we will get to know what is the collab, how to start it, basic commands, how to upload and download files, load Jupyter Notebook from GitHub, training with GPU, save it to the GitHub, and easy way to link your Jupyter Notebook to the collab. So let's get it started. Collab is free Jupyter Notebook running in the cloud where almost machine learning and deep learning libraries are already installed and ready to be used right away. Plus, you can use high-speed GPU without any cost, without any configuration. This is very good news for students or practitioners to easily practice state-of-art deep learning with GPU or with collaborators in the cloud. Now let me show you very essential but most important tips for you. So here is my MacBook. I'm going to use a Chrome browser here, but you can use Safari or Firefox. Uh, here I'm going to say Google Drive. So just go to Google Drive and I'm going to click on the My Drive here. And if you want to create a new collab, just click on the new button here. Go to More button and the Collaboratory. Then it will give you the Jupyter Notebook in the cloud shortly. It's loading and you can see the Jupyter Notebook here. You can just name it here like Hello. And uh, you save it and you can just say Print Hello World here. So just basic Python command here. I'm clicking Shift Enter. So shift enter is the, the shortcut key for the Jupyter Notebook to run your command. Same as here, you can use the shift, command, shift enter to run your command and you got the hello world here. So let me just open my existing Collab Notebook here, Collab, uh, Collab Basic. I made this one for this video. I'm going to open this one in the Collab. So here you can see many examples here. So here, firstly, what I'm going to show you is import the default packages. For example, I'm importing TensorFlow and the Keras here. Well, I have not installed Keras. I have not installed TensorFlow here, but you can see the TensorFlow and Keras are imported here without any error. That means the Jupyter Notebook in the cloud, Collab has the TensorFlow and Keras ready for you use this package as well. But what if the non-default package here, say import photo 3 here, then you will get the error because this collab doesn't have the photo 3. But no problem, you can just install here, say pip install photo 3. Say you need photo 3, then you just install the photo 3 here and run your code. So it's installing the photo 3 here. Once the install is done, then the import photo 3 should be working and the photo 3 dot tab, then the you will see all the functions from the photo 3. Okay, good. And when you upload and download the file, you just click on this left side arrow button here, then you will see the files here. Here you can see the sample data. You can download any file from here, say download, then the, it will download the file for you. You can see the, we are downloading the file. And if you want to upload your own file, then just click on this upload button and click your file from here. Say you want to open this one using the pandas. So I'm importing the pandas and just shift enter here. Then you will see the data frame like this. Well, most importantly, let's take a look how to use the GPU. First, let's see if we have the GPU here, shift enter. Then you have the GPU because edit Notebook settings, then you can see my hardware setting already using the GPU. But if you say none here, by default it's going to be the none. And shift enter here, then it will give you the error because now you don't have the GPU. So importantly, just go to the edit, notebook setting, set up this hardware as GPU and save. Then run this one, then that your notebook. The Collab Notebook will find the GPU for you. That means your notebook is ready to use the GPU. So here's the interesting test. I'm going to test the, uh, the GPU speed, how fast it is compared to the CPU. So this code is using, is using the CNN, I believe. Let me see. Okay, convolutional, convolutional layer here. And I'm going to give you the, the speed difference here. Let me see. 
So now it got the result the GPU speed over CPU is like 11 times faster than the CPU. It's sometimes less, sometimes more. You can test yourself, it will be very interesting. But the next one is load from the GitHub. For example, I have the CNN code in my GitHub repository here. You can see I have the CNN code here. I'm going to just load my this Jupyter Notebook in my GitHub to the collab. How to do it? It's just using this URL, https uh, collabresearchgoogle.com github github and uh, you just say the letter one here. You just say that one then it will open the Jupyter Notebook from the github to your collab. So the exactly same Jupyter Notebook now in my collab. Well, make sure you have the GPU here. So by default, it's none. Just set up GPU here. Then once you run this one, so cell here, run time, run all, then run anyway, yes. Then this GPU notebook will enable the GPU and uh, will train with the GPU with very fast time because now it's using the GPU. So it should be much faster than just running this CNN on your MacBook with only CPU. So you can see my CNN code here if you are interested in, but at the last code here, let me see here, implementation, and the last cell here, three cells hidden. So it's running, it's running, and it will show you, yeah, this is it. So you can see it's very super fast. So if you are not running this one on your Mac, probably much slower than this. Since it's using the GPU, you just got the answer already, like the 97% something, right? So this is how to use your GPU notebook in the GitHub, how to load your GPU notebook in the GitHub to the collab. Lastly, but not, uh, lastly here, but not least, is link your collab in your GPU notebook. So here, I'm just going to give this guy here, this guy to the top of this code. Say I'm going to add text here and I'll paste this guy, shift enter. Now I have this open in collab this one. Remember I have this one and I'm going to give this one to the GitHub. Save a copy in the GitHub, in the GitHub. And I'm going to copy this one with the name say collab underscore collab and save it creating a copy and I will make a new file in my GitHub. So I got this one. Well, this is how you save your collab notebook into the GitHub. Well, most importantly, I just put this, uh, this button here. What this button is here is anybody, including you, your friend and collaborator, they just click on this button, then they will open this one. Sorry, I will just click on, open link in new tab then uh, okay this goes to the collab with this github Jupyter notebook so you don't have to copy and paste url to some google research.com you just click this button then the Jupyter notebook in the github will directly automatically comes to your collab and uh, you can just practice right away well this is the end of my video today and i hope this video helps you to ramp up on the collab thank you very much and i will see you on the next video